So in this directory, I'll see my files. Perfect. I'm now going to perform a quality control on the nanopore data. I'll use nanoplots. So I'll say nanoplots and then I'll say that's that fast kill. And then I'll supply it with the nanopore data. So I'll say fast kill slash nanopore dot fast kill. And then I'll say dash O. And I'll say QC. Port. So the dash O here tells nanoplot that we want the reports to be saved in this directory. So this directory will be created. So let's run this command. It will take some time for the QC to be done. So let's be patient. Okay. QC has been done. So let's do an LS and we are going to find our reports here. So let's take a look at the reports. So in the reports directory, we will have some files, but I would like us to open the HTML file using our browser. So I'll open this one here. So let's do that now. So I'll go to my file manager here and then I'll check the report. So this is the report. I'll open it. And then before I even do that, there's also some information here in the nanostar.txt. Maybe we can start with that first. So you will have some statistics here and then you can read about them. You can read them. But let's take a look at the HTML file. That is what we really want to do. So I'll open that now and then we can proceed. So this is the HTML reports. So this is the HTML report. It has the information um, that we opened okay, recently. So you have some statistics here that um, you can use to assess the quality of your data in order to help you to understand your data. In addition to what has been given here, the Gala tutorial also makes mention of three summary statistics that can also be very useful. So the statistics have been listed here. When we check the QC section, okay, the read quality section, and you come here, you have that here. We have sequencing depth, sequencing quality, and we also have grid length. So these are things that you can also check to help you to better understand your data and then um, get an idea of the quality. So you have to check that. There are other tools that you can also use for quality control. Okay, some of them are used for assessing the quality. Some are also used for um, removal of low quality reads or reads that have um, read that are short and etc. So you can check the list here and then also check online. There are tools that you can use for quality control. And I've covered some tutorials on quality control as well. So I will leave the links to those videos in the description box. So that's what we have.